Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this morning I am going to make uh, corned beef hash with two fried eggs and I'm gonna show y'all how I make this. So let me go ahead and get this can open. This was expensive, I think it was $3.69 for the can. And um, I see this name brand is Mary Kitchen. They had another one. This is Hormel. I forget what the name of the other one is. But I love it, and it's not something that I buy that often because it does have a lot of sodium in it. But the reason that I decided on this one is because it states uh, reduced sodium. So it has six, oh gosh, 660 milligrams for one serving, which is one cup. That's still a lot of sodium. I'd hate to know what the the other can had in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, cook about half of the can. And I'm gonna cook two eggs to go with it and I will save the other half for another day. Y'all have to let me know if you if you eat corned beef hash too. I used to buy it when I was raising the kids and I made it the same way back then as I do today and that was oh, 30 years ago. I am still so sick. I'm up to my intake of fluids every day. I cut back on the, I stopped taking the mucinex altogether. And then I cut back on the Robitussin DM. I'm just taking it 20 milligrams twice a day instead of every four hours. I just felt like I was getting too dried out. And then I just came to the conclusion that, you know, it's this is a virus and there's no speeding up of a virus. A virus has its own DNA and its own timeline. You can't speed it up or end it or do anything to make any difference to it, I don't believe, no matter how hard you try. So you just have to treat the symptoms as best that you can and deal with it. Serve this on my, what's that lady's name, the pilgrim lady? I love the colors that she uses in her brand. I'm starving y'all because I took over an hour this <coughs> I spent over an hour this morning going through every app on my phone and deleting deleting the cache and then deleting every picture, every photo that I could possibly live without. I made sure that they are all in my Google cloud. I deleted every WhatsApp text between my, me and my daughter and my son because I don't want this storage to fill up on my phone in the middle of me making a video. So before I go any further, I want to ask y'all to please, if you know of um, anybody that, that you communicate with on a daily basis who... Anybody that you communicate with, your friends or family or co-workers that, who watch YouTube videos, if you think that any of them would enjoy any of my content, I would appreciate it if you would share my channel with them and maybe suggest a playlist to them, suggest that they watch my nanny videos or my nanny diaries or my recipes on my Real Life on Social Security series. I'm trying so hard to get that extra 300 subscribers so that I can get my subscriber count up to the magical 30,000 subs. I've been trying for over three years now, but I wanted to ask y'all to help me to achieve that goal of mine. I would appreciate it so much. I will leave the link to the Nanny Diaries, my Social Security series, and my recipes in the description box below this video. That way you can just press on it, press on the blue part, and then you'll be um, 
prompted to share, and then you can send the one of those links to the person that you're sharing my channel with, and I, I would really appreciate it. Just gonna eat, um, drink another cup of hot tea with lemon honey ginger in it. Go back to bed, that's all I know to do. Y'all, we got a lot of snow again last night. <coughs> My car is covered in about six inches of snow, but I can tell that it's melting. I don't know what the temperature is, but it is melting. But I went to self and shop yesterday, so I was able to pick up enough food to last me probably four or five more days. I turn the heat off at night, the heat in here and the heat in my bedroom. I hardly ever use the heater in the bedroom because I love to sleep in a cold room. In fact, I take my Pepsi bottle, the one that I freeze about three quarters of the way up and add water to it so that I have ice water to drink all night. So I just put my phone and my glasses and my ice water in bed with me. on the other side, and that's how I sleep. <laughs> and I sip, sip on my ice water all night long. When I wake up in the morning, it's still frozen. <laughs> that's how cold it is in my bedroom. Okay, I think this is just about brown enough. I can put my eggs in here. Have any of y'all been watching the trial? Uh, that has to do with the murder of Jennifer Farber Dulles. Uh, it happened in New Canaan, Connecticut in 2019. She was the mother of five children, two sets of twins and a little girl. And she was married to this Greek guy named Fotis Dulles. And he started having an affair with a woman named Michelle Traconis. Anyway, she came up missing on May the 19th. Oh, no, it was May, I think it was May the 24th, 2019. She had dropped her five kids off to school that morning. And then she was supposed to go into Manhattan. Her parents are were wealthy. They were the Farber family. And her mother is her mother's sister, which would be Jennifer's aunt, is Liz Claiborne. So it got a lot of notoriety because of that. But anyway, her husband is the one who murdered her. They weren't divorced yet, but they were in a very contentious uh, custody battle. And um, he murdered her, and he was living with this woman from Venezuela named Michelle Traconis, and now she's on trial for conspiracy, I believe it's conspiracy, I don't know if it's conspiracy to commit the murder, but definitely for having him try to cover up and hide the evidence. It's very interesting. So I have been watching that. It keeps me very busy. Y'all will have to let me know if you're watching it. So anyway, I want my eggs to fry a little bit or, you know, just to cook like that. And I like for them to have the, to cook over the top. So what I'm gonna do is just set my plate on top. This will warm up, this serves two purposes. Help the eggs to cook on top, and it will also warm up my plate and help melt the butter on my toast. Sometimes I put the plates on the burners back here on very, very, like this one says melt, on very, very low to warm them up, but I have to be very careful because when I was taking care of Marco, they, he had this expensive antique china, um, oh, what was it called, Nippon, I think. 
Yeah, I don't think it was Nortelic. It was an old, you know, the older ones, because he was from, you know, he was 100 years old, so he and his wife had all of this expensive china and everything that he still used. So I was warming up two plates on the burners for our dinner, and all of a sudden, pop, pop. So, oh, my God. I knew if his daughter found out, I would catch um, hellfire from her. So I had to, I wrapped them up in newspaper and put them in a garbage bag and put them in the trunk of my car. <laughs> Took those and put them in the garbage. Oh, there was no way I was going to let her know that I had burst their expensive dishes. She never mentioned it, so. Okay, cooking good. I just want the yolk to get a little bit more done. A little done I miss not being able to drink my milk. I know milk is not good for, for you when you have a cold. I am eating a yogurt every day because I, I did take those two rounds of antibiotics. So that I'm still going to have. But I have, can't drink my milk in the morning with my breakfast. I had the weirdest dream, y'all. I dreamt that... We went out to eat somewhere, and the kids were still little, so I was with John, and we had taken the kids out to eat, and they ordered a grilled cheese, which is common, you know, for kids, and they brought the food to the table and everything, and one of the kids' the grilled cheese was made with the heel of the bread. <laughs> that made me so mad, y'all. In my dream, you know, that a, a restaurant would have the gall to serve <laughs> a grilled cheese made with the heel of the bread. I mean, nowadays I eat it. You have to eat it because of the price of bread, you know. You can't, can't afford to even throw away the heel. Okay, so here are my eggs and corned beef hash. what I'm just going to bring the camera over here I will take a screenshot of it so I will have my thumbnail here's my corned beef hash with uh, eggs and my toast with grape smoker's grape jelly so I hope you enjoyed this video please share and y'all just keep on coming back